though. This is Sabrina. Yeah. I have a question for you. Since you have uh, dealt with the U.S. government. Mm, yeah, well, in the You military. were in the military. Yeah. Yeah. So um, maybe you can help us with this. Um, yeah. About there seems to be a challenge about transporting people to the ships yeah. um, because of some deal that was made. Uh, yeah. What advice would you give about that? Well, you see, the problem is that um, whenever they made the contract, it wasn't, as, it wasn't specific enough. And so they did say that the, they were allowed to help the earth with the weather and the seismic and the volcanic. And that they were allowed to talk to people through channeling situations and stuff like that. But they were not allowed to interact with humans in a third dimensional way. Okay. It's stated that third dimensional way. Okay. And so, uh, they want to take humans off the earth and bring them to the colonies and that's taking out of third dimension into a different area so that's a breach of contract according to the politicians but according to the crook near they're saying well we're not interacting with them on earth we're bringing, we're not even coming to Earth, we're bringing them to the ship. However, and we're interacting with them there. So they said, no, no, no. If you take them in their third dimensional off the Earth, that's affecting their, that's interacting with third dimension. But so they see they have a big argument there. They have a big argument there because. <laughs> They were not specific. Well, it says third dimension. It does not say anything about teleporting or anything like that. That they would have. So they're working on making an addendum or presenting your your politicians with a way to get around it. But they haven't they haven't got around it yet because they're saying if you take our people off the earth, that's deal. That's a deal breaker. Okay, now where does our free will come in on this? Oh, it doesn't, dear. <laughs> no, uh, your government is not free will. No, uh, your free will is to say yes. I can. I'll go if they let me. But your government is saying you're not going. So that that's not your free will. That's their free will. Exactly, okay. and and that's that's where uh, some of us, you know are a bit, uh, I guess, annoyed over this because um, it, it should be our decision to make. I understand if they're protecting, if they were protecting us, but if we are making the decision to go. Yeah, well, it, it's just like a law. You don't break, if you break the law, that was your free will to break it, but they, it's their free will to throw you in the pen or whatever. Right. So, yeah, th when it comes to this, your government is in control. You have no say at this point. Okay. Now, taking it uh, taking us off planet, it's not on 3D. So, I don't understand how they could even argue that. Yes. Well, they're saying you're in 3D when the beam comes down. If they take, you're allowed to go astrally because your body is still on the Earth. If they take your physical body off the earth, that's the, that's uh, messing with third dimension, and it's a breach of their contract. Do you understand? Yes. Now, how does that work when there's other civilizations doing it? They don't have a contract with them. Right. So, yeah, they were sort of stupid to make a contract almost. But the reason why they did is so they could help because... Right they would not let them help because part of the contract is don't take over our our area don't take over our government don't take over this that's why they let them help is because they said they wouldn't take over anything 
right? That was what the contract is basically about. There's a lot of other little stuff in there, but it's basically don't take us over. Don't be the ruler. Let us stay in charge. When does the contract end? Uh, that I don't know. I wasn't there. But uh, I know that it's still enforced right now. No. But they're trying to make addendums to it. Okay. Now, what do you know when this contract was made? About uh, seven years ago. Maybe six. But uh, it wasn't really... Uh, they really didn't start helping too much until... It, the contract was made, but it wasn't uh, pounded out till about five years ago. Okay. Because the weather started to get really bad. I started to get... It's still pretty bad now. I mean, it's not going to get better. Let's put it that way. Yeah, because my, my question is how... Because it's it, it we're we're sort of going in a circle because obviously they don't want to lose control. Oh, and, ah, sure. And this is about empowering us. So I do you see the conundrum here? Of course, but it's your government that made the the whole mess, really. Yeah. If it just a, would have let us let them help without. Doing all this crap. Exactly. Just help us, you know, but your government is too suspicious and too uh, paranoid to do anything without writing. And they're still paranoid about that, even though there's a treaty and all that stuff. They, they know that it can be broken, you know, but they're, the fact that they put it in place was a trust factor, okay? So... Because they, it's better to have one than not, according to your government. Do you understand that? Okay, now, now, now why did they have to ask the government? Because the government would shoot the, those freaking UFOs out of the sky if they, as soon as they detected them. So that's so, why. So they have the capability to do that? Well... Yeah, they do in some ways, yeah. And, but the thing is, who wants to be shot at all the time, you know? Yeah, You're gonna, no, I agree. So there, it's like, don't shoot us. That's part of the contract that you, that they, the ships can be there. And okay. they, don't, they know the ships are there. They're in fourth dimension. But they can, you see, your, your government can shoot down a fourth dimensional ship. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Because that was the other question. Yeah. How does, how does a third dimensional weapon shoot a fourth uh, dimensional ship? Other aliens that give them the the information to do it because they don't want Gorfik near to help you. So they'll give them the technology to shoot out a fourth dimensional ship. Sure. That helps them. Okay. And that would be, I guess, the ones not wanting us There's ascending. No, don't know about what's going on with all these freaking aliens they're just it's a mess on your planet wow. <laughs> I mean, and, they're everywhere and they're and nobody knows who to trust or whatever it's just ridiculous but it's still working so far but uh, my personal thought it's gonna break down one of these days because just it's just too much okay so, let me ask you um do you do you know Bashar? Do you know who he is? Oh yeah, Bashar, yeah. Okay, he recently made some predictions. What? Uh, about the Earth, um, something happening this year towards the end of the well, year. Yeah, I think it'll be more 2016, but yeah, he could be right. Okay, that that that. Okay, and what about um? I don't know. There's there are numerous predictions that he made. Do you know anything about that? I really don't pay much attention to all these other channelers. They always contradict each other, and I yes. find them to be so. Anyway, um, but you know what? To make a prediction like some of the ones that he made, he has to have some. He has to have visited another timeline. 
uh, according to galactic law and stuff like that, um, that it's interesting that the, he's allowed to. Right, because so. he's never done that before. So no, I don't, I mean, he's never made predictions before. So that means he had to visit another timeline. So whatever. I just hope he visited the right timeline to give the right predictions. Right, and that's that was my next question because how does he know that we're going to ship to that timeline? That is a very good question, and my question as well, because if he's shifted to the wrong timeline and he made these predictions, then they're not going to happen. But let me tell you something about Rashar. He's pretty bright. He's a bright guy. He's very very in tune. <laughs> so, um, uh, I have a feeling that uh, they allowed him to do a little bit extra. So, Okay, because then we have, on top of that, we have the L predictions. Yes, the L predictions are also, you have to look at another timeline, yep. Um, because so, like, in the meantime, there's a lot of variables. Right. You know what I mean? Things yeah. that they may not have foreseen with all these freaking aliens coming down, they, they might interfere some way that will change everything. So, you don't know. Yeah, because it, it also seems that there's a lot of aliens coming in to watch the show. Yeah, that's what I just said. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, it's a craft shoot. <laughs> okay. All right, thank you. Um, Angela had a question. Yeah. 